We're back on. Cool. Should we do properly now? Yeah, go on. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey! Welcome, and today I'm here with an amazing Besma from Curious Conscious, and Hi. we're doing a collab together. Yay! Hello! How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I'm good. I'm sorry, I might go a bit uh, throaty. So am I. We've got, <laughs> we've got a little of cups and tea. <laughs> That's fine. But, so today we decided we're going to do a haul. And as we both are green beauty buddies, we kind of thought mm. show the latest stuff that we got from shopping sprees. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, <laughs> all over the place. I think the things that I'm going to be showing are new bits to me and things that I've been enjoying over the last like month or so. Do you want to go first, as you are my guest? Okay, let's start with this. It is Green People Volumizing Mascara. Um, so this was actually recommended to me when I was tweeting about getting a new mascara because I just finished my Living Nature one and I was just like, what do I do? Where do I go? Um, I think now that I'm living in London as well, it's more a question of do I go out shopping for it or am I going to order it? But I actually did order this one online and I am loving it at the moment. Um, it has a really good brush. I did have a bristle brush from the old Ooh. one. But this I heard a lot of good things about this. Yeah, it's actually, I've seen it in a few different places and just thought, you know what, I'm just going to bite the bullet, pay the £15, get the green people uh, while I'm rising mascara, and really, really nice. Sounds good. Really good product so far. So yeah, we'll see how long it lasts. My, my first thing up, I've been planning to buy this since November last year. I went to a event where we met for the first time. Yeah. And we got some great samples from Angel Langford and I got this clean sweep and scrub up so it's a kind of like scrub and a cleanser which I just absolutely loved but I just wanted to finish all the ones I had at home before I bought them which I just did and they are so amazing like the scrub is like the best scrub I ever used it's really gentle really? That's and it's good. really nice because sometimes you feel like this really grain on your face it's just really kind of I have that too much one. yeah and this is just the perfect, like, you can feel cleansing it, but not too much kind of thing. And then the cleanser, I just really liked it. I did discover after I bought it that it had beeswax in it, so it's not vegan, but okay. they are. I really, really enjoy them, and they're, so, and they're so pretty. And Angela, seriously, like, her customer service is just so amazing. Angela's and just she writes, I know, oh, she's an yeah. amazing person. And she just writes this, like, whole letters, like, to you <laughs> and everything, and you order stuff. And it's like, so I hope sweet. you like it, like sending extra samples, everything, so it's like, she's just amazing, so I love it, this. I definitely would support Angela as well, she's just definitely. a really nice person and really good products. I'm going to go for this, which is Melvita, and it's their perfume, it's the rose perfume, and they brought it out, I think, around Valentine's Day, or well, at least that's when I picked mine up, and it smells lovely, I'm wearing it, I don't know, you can still <laughs> smell it even. <laughs> go on, give it a smell. It smells really nice. It's actually, for me, I think it's probably the longest it's lasting really perfume. Yeah, go ahead. I actually forgot my perfume this morning. It smells really nice. It is really nice. It's it's sweet, um, so if you're into more like musky scents, it's probably not the one for you, but in terms of having a natural perfume that lasts a long time, this is good. I did try another one, and it was Senna Ferenz a while back, and it's kind of made with just plant-based oils, so it kind of Disapparates through the day. Disapparates? Is that just Harry Potter or am I? Just... <laughs> I'm not sure to be honest. Um, yeah. yeah, it kind of goes through the day, whereas this I find that nice. I still smell like it. So, my next thing is also from a sample that is from Botanicals and it's a spa detox body oil and it's so amazing. Like, I got a little sample, it smelled so much of fennel, like, it smells like more like licorice, and I just absolutely loved it. So, then I was like, I have to buy the big bottle. This one kind of smells a bit more like peppermint, which kind of disappointed me, but it's such a good product. Like, unique blend of detox essential oils to stimulate circulation, encourage the elimination of toxins, help strengthen capillary walls, and discourage fluid retention. I'm like, that's pretty that's impressive really for yeah. like a little. And um, um, I just started to love oils so much. Like, I recently, kind of a year ago, started using face oils, and I just love it so much. And then starting getting into body oils and everything is just like incredible. Like I love it. It's really, really good. So I'm getting a big fan of oils. That's so. nice. I'm, a, so I'm nice. still on just face oils at the moment. Um, I go through quite a lot. Um, I have quite dry skin. Mm. I went to a spa like two weeks ago and she said to me, she was like, 
skin's kind of strange, you need to drink more water, apply oils, and I was like, this is all things that I'm doing, I, just, <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna get it right. Um, but at the moment, actually coming on to oils, I've got this, um, it's also from Melvita, so uh. big love for the brand. It's their Rose Face Oil, and to be honest, I think, and I said this in a recent post as well, I've been using oils wrong for a while, because I was using them almost like a facial serum rather than an oil, and now I have a serum, so I'm kind of adding in cleanser, toner, moisturise, or the serum before moisturise, and then face oil, and then I apply foundation, which means that my foundation is kind of dewy when I first apply. With this one though, it just smells so good. The only other oil I think that smells pretty much on par is um, Angela Langford's facial, facial oil, the one I had was... Are oh, they blooming? Oh no, that one. okay. I might have it somewhere. I'll have to like whip it out. Her um, is amazing too. But yeah, she's great and I think this is on par with that, so mm. yeah. So good. It's lovely. Uh, my next thing is a toner. I just run out of all my facial spritz and her toners and everything. So I got this because it's from Sooty and it's rose water. And I used mm. to use the peppermint. But I was meant to buy the rose water because I remember I tried it and then picked it up but I managed to buy the peppermint instead which was amazing <laughs> so I thought this time I'm actually going to try the rose water and see what I think but it smells kind of like um, Turkish Delight when you spray it on and off That's lovely <laughs> It's like, yeah it's absolutely, like Suti is such an amazing brand as well they do such a gorgeous products. Lovely, like Susanna is so lovely as well. Is it a glass Definitely. bottle as well? It is a glass bottle. I always love that more. Me too. Yeah. And it's so nice. I think a lot of the time I'm a bit of a sucker for good... Oh, that's really nice. Good, good <laughs> packaging is it's what I was going to say. Packaging. Yeah, um, that kind of thing where you want to keep it out on your bathroom shelf or just Definitely. like displayed so in your bedroom. Very pretty. It is. I love all the little flower It's really well. sweet. It's really nice. So this is a new brand to me, they're Avril, and it's a face, face? A foundation. <laughs> a face foundation, not like there's any other kind, but you know. Just um, <laughs> make sure no one gets confused. It's alright guys. <laughs> um, so this is like an organic brand, I think they are originally French and they are kind of making their way across the channel to us. With this one though, it, it really depends on your face, like for me I have like quite strong blemishes on my cheeks. so. I need quite a bit to keep it at bay, but this is, I would say, a good stop between um, yeah. tinted moisturiser and a foundation. Oh, nice, I think um, I like that. So yeah, it depends, it depends. If you want it lighter, this is really good. Um, I also just really like the smell of it. It's a foundation that smells nice. A lot of the time I've found as well with foundations that if they're natural, they have just a funny smell. Um, and you'd find the high street ones have a nice smell, but that's because they put in a hell of a lot of perfume and synthetics, so. Mm. Want to keep an eye out for? Well, I got an Avril product as well, and it's the blusher, and we both got it. <laughs> it was hilarious. I was like, oh, I got this blusher. Like, Me too. <laughs> Which colour did you get? Did you get the same one? No, I think I got a different. I colour. got the rose praline. Terquit. Terquit. Does that mean what terracotta? That? And that's like cooked ground should... in French. So yeah. I think that's terracotta rather than cooked ground. I've never heard of. <laughs> oh, it's got sweets. Yeah, I really like this. It's funny because I read a review of it earlier today and saying this kind of gets a bit messy and everything but I, like it's the first time today I tried it and I just really like the colour and it's not as pink as what I normally go for because mm. with blushes and most stuff I always go for like oh, bright pink and baby pink and all those things so this is will normally for me be a bit more like Oh, it's not really pink enough, but <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. It's really nice and it's quite like natural and yeah, I it looks good. And it's so cheap. Guys, seriously, it's, it's yeah. so cheap. I think there's it's now coming to a point where a lot of green beauty is getting down to a good price. So basically there is nothing stopping you from changing over to Definitely. things that are going to be slightly better for your skin and your health. Yeah, I, I really like mine. I've gone for more of an orange tone with it being terracotta. Um, which fits more of my skin type, but I love it too. And I so, think it, it's just really nice to apply. Where did you get it's your messy? It is an independent online shop that I will link because I cannot remember. Oh, they also do <laughs> loads of other stuff. I got some soap nuts, which I'll be reviewing soon from them, and they're just really good. I'm very happy yeah. with it. Yeah, they were like a fiver, six pounds. I think like something like that. It, honestly, I think it was around a fiver. 
it's that and the so same incredible. this is like under 10 pounds i think so it's incredible really good i've got this it's green people and it's skincare obviously i always talk about skincare it's the one thing i'm always obsessed with um so this is their beauty boost skin restore and it's like a hydrating cream so i suppose for me I always want something with a label on so I know exactly how to use it, whether it's moisturiser or day cream or night cream, whatever. But I've been using this for the days where I think my skin is feeling a bit dull, a bit dry, um, and needs something slightly more intense than the Rossi Ravenna, um moisturiser that I'm using at the moment. So this one, it's just lovely. It's so nice. I got it as well, actually. I didn't bring it, but I do have it at home. So and it's so good. Like, And it's kind of anti-aging, isn't it? It does well? say that, yes. Whereabouts? Number one for radiant skin, yeah, rejuvenate, brighten, revive, and um, with this as well, obviously a group of people that are kind of top of the tree when it comes to being cruelty free, not having SLS, all that kind of like parabens, vegan. yeah exactly, it's vegan as well, so it's the one place to go if you want something and you don't want to even worry about what you're buying, what the ingredients are, you know that green people are good. And it's just so thick, it just comes out so thick and creamy and it goes on your face really nice and it actually goes in quite quick as well it's not mm -hmm. tacky or anything afterwards so yeah, big nice. fan what else have you got so i got are you done yeah, yeah <laughs> I, i'm i'm out that's it. Up. <laughs> you win <laughs> yeah i'll put myself <laughs> so i got two lip products um the first one i randomly walked around in whole foods and decided i want to buy lipstick i want to buy a lipstick i wouldn't normally buy as you do and i got this from la vera Mm. And it's so gorgeous, like, it's a caramel glam, which, as I said, I normally go for bright pinks, so this is quite... Oh, it looks like nice. It's, it's really nice, though. I really like this colour. It it's kind nice. of a bit more natural, kind of pink colour. I would go colour. for that colour. Yeah, it's really nice. And I, I like really quite like, like this sheen. It's quite... It is very nice. You can like... wear it in the evening. You can probably get away with it in the day, even. It's just mm -hmm. lovely. So, I actually quite like it. Because even when I got home, I'm like, why did I buy this? Like, <laughs> This is not the colour I was supposed to buy, but I have from, that. then I'd realised this I decided to buy a colour I wouldn't normally buy and I really enjoyed it. So I'm happy about that one. Great. Then there's another one that I've been meaning to go and buy for about a year and it's this lip crayon from Ilia. It's so gorgeous and this is just like the prettiest little thing. The packaging is just it. so pretty. Yeah. And it's exactly the pink I would normally go for. <laughs> and it's called Call Me. So it's a, kind of like a kind of flirty pink, I'm guessing, they're going for. That is nice. And you can see, like, that it's a lot lighter. Kind of there. So it's so nice. That is pretty. very, like, I would and not it's the one I'm wearing today as well. It's lovely. It looks yes. really good on you. Thank you. So yeah, no, they are a bit more pricier. They're like... Twenty pounds, and I've got this in Content Beauty, but I was seriously could go for these. And what I would say as well, like Ilias lipsticks got beeswax in them, but their lip crayons doesn't, so they are completely yeah. vegan, and they are so pretty. So that's why I kind of been meaning to go and get one for ages. It's just my absolutely favourite lip product at the moment. I'm just so happy with it, and I'm that Does it is stay for like a long time as well. It's today is the proper first time I'm wearing it, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I'll let you know. <laughs> but and that was all our products that we got recently. So got some amazing things, and I'm so excited to just try these things more and share more with you. But um, we're gonna record another video yeah. on your channel. So if you enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up, and please don't forget to follow. Best man on her channel. Thank you. And I will link all that below and pop up some stuff everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna do something very exciting. So head over to Best Man channels to see what we'll be doing there. Thanks. Bye. 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 I was going in for like eggs everywhere. I had like pretty much meat every every day, probably once or twice a day. Um, and then kind of had this like.